everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of Inheritance. So, last episode we lost the Ares, but we did gain a Hunchback 1G. Unfortunately, we're not putting it together because it's garbage. And we've got the Wasp um, updating right now um, with the um, uh, Clan Small Improved Heavy Laser and the IATM3. So that's being updated, but it's going to put us past the financial report. So I decided to not risk that. We're going to run a uh, quick mission here today. I think we're going to go to uh, Command Center real quick here. Uh, we're going to run this one here today, just a half skull mission, just to get some uh, sea bills and some salvage. Um, there's an enemy company preparing to extract, and I don't know... It's against Word of Blake, so that should be um, half decent. We should get some okay stuff out of that. But before we do that, let's go to the barracks, not the Command Center. I don't know why I keep mistaking the uh, command center for the barracks. Anyway, uh, let's have a look at our pilots here real quick. Um, so our commander, I want to go tactics on this guy. Uh, I'm seriously considering, like, I like this idea of being cautious and re removing a bar of stability when reserving. Um, if we go back here, um, and let's just reset that. So, I mean, I like the idea of hard case where you reduce incoming stability damage. Um, it's nice, but 10% really isn't all that much if you think about it. So it's really like half of a bar. If you're being hammered hard, um, most likely you're going to go down regardless of this. Um, I mean, it, this could me make the difference between being knocked unstable and being easier to hit or not. But I like, I just like the idea of, um, I like the idea of, like if I'm being hit and then, you know, my turn comes up reserving and dropping a whole bar um, rather than moving, that's kind of really nice. Or like, cause if you don't want to use, like if you're preparing to attack somebody, you're preparing to move out, but you're unstable and you want to sprint, being able to use this uh, to drop your instability before like sprinting is actually pretty nice too. So um, in this case though, this pilot is really going to be uh, most likely end up being a ranged pilot and stuff. So I'm going to go max sight and sensors. I will take tactician just so we can see things that are, are farther distance and be better at uh, long range fire. So that's what we're going to do here. Just confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. And Griff, you? we're not quite there yet with uh, a roundup. I don't think. Oh, we got ability to add piloting. So I mean, actually, let's go this route first. Now, um, I think we're going to go Bandit, increase, increase clustering roll modifiers because she is a vehicle pilot, so the recoil I don't think makes that much difference, um, but with using the LRMs and the uh, LBXs, the clustering roll will help out I think, so we're going to go Bandit on her, confirm that, Training confirmed, Commander. and then we'll do the same thing probably on Steamer hard. Duck, we're going to go Bandit because she's piloting a uh, Zoria as well, we can confirm that. Training complete. And I don't think Taser Face has got enough yet. Does she? Oh, she does. So, we want to go, t I think we're going to go here. We're going to go gunnery. Uh, we're going to go improve call shot modifier. Because I want to be able to pull legs off stuff. So we're going to do that. Confirm that. Mech warrior training complete. Then we have to decide, I think it's probably going to be Undertow or Ivory. Who do we want to pilot the... Um, well, you know what? I'll worry about that later. Maybe we do fuck? Undertow and the Wasp and save Ivory for some, somebody yes, else. Commander. I haven't quite decided. Actually, what's the service record like on these two? Honest, Periphery, and Tortugan. Good to go. And you are Athletic, which gives you more health. So you'll probably be better on the Wasp. Just because if you're being attacked uh, when you're up close constantly. Um, if you get knocked over or take a head hit, you're more of a chance to survive. So I think we'll put you in the wasp. All right. Um, so that being done, let's go to engineering real quick because I do want to spend a little bit of C bills on um, grabbing the library for the morale, the tech points, and the med points. It's actually a good buy for a couple hundred grand. So we're going to go ahead and do that. It'll take a bit, but we'll get it done. All right. Now, uh, command center. Let's get on this. Negotiate. It's only half skull. How bad could it really be? Uh, let's go ahead and take this. And then we will pull out 
Oh, she is already out. Lance 2. Actually, let's just... Because I'm kind of... A little anal. Kind of do this. There we go. Lance 1, Lance 2. Let's go. Command interface initiated. All right, here we go. Caught them right out in the open. Apparently. I guess they're behind cover up here, though. So they're not that far in the open. Um, all right. So, okay, we can go over there if we wanted to. That's the back corner. Uh, where do we want to be? We could come down to the trees here. In fact, I think we're going to do that. Let's get down into here. Talos, Griffin, Cephalus, and then our two vehicles back here. We shall drop down. So we're probably facing five or six, five or six. I can't remember if the Blakest forces are fives or sixes. I think it's both. It's weird, the textures, though. Like, I mean, somebody had mentioned that maybe just sit and pause and wait to see if um, the textures will load eventually. But I did that off, off camera before. Just waited and waited and waited. They never load, so I don't understand why it, some of them will do it and some of them won't. All right, what do we got here? Looks like an urban mech. Sure as frig is. And we got a copter... All I can see so far. Commander. All right, let's go see if we can find some of these bastards. Wait, how can we not see that guy? Probably as soon as we move, he disappears off sensors. That's why. Uh, I'm gonna push straight in because I want to see what's up there. Yeah, he disappears off sensors, and he'll reappear. We can target him. Or apparently not. Stealthy motherfucker. That guy's like super stealthy. I don't like that. Here he comes. Okay. Is that the wedding ball? I think it is. Or the Urban Mac 9000. Urban Mac 6 9000. I don't think we can shoot this guy. Yeah. Uh, but we will move up. Take the turn to move up. Yeah, I'm not firing. Hit my own guy in the back more, more at a uh, easier pace than I'll actually hit that guy. So that's a vehicle. Waiting on you, Commander. All right, Griff, let's go. Get up here. I'm not going to target him. We're just going to move up. Got to start getting some sensors on these guys. I got to find out where the rest of them are. So we know they got a vehicle. They got an urban mech. They got a copter. That's another vehicle. And that could have been a mech. Yeah. So maybe two mechs, two vehicles, and a copter? Acknowledged. Yeah, we're not going to bother firing. We're just going to move up. Just going to move up. Ready for orders. All right, Steema. Steam of a Bima. And your hologram. I've heard of green screening, I've heard of blue screening, but I've never heard of uh, pink screening. I've got an enemy flanking to the side. Oh shit! I've got eyes on hostile reinforcements. They're heading your way. Well, my day went from bad to worse. And since I can't see them. At least he didn't hit me. <laughs> At least he hit his own guy. Got him in the leg. Alright, this guy's gotta go, and he's gotta go now. Um, Orders. I 
the thing is, if I do this, though, these guys, like, if there's anybody down here, they're going to spot me right away. <sighs> do I take the chance? I don't think I can. I think I got to, like... Do this. Moving to position. Oh shit, look at that. They're right there. Mantis. Okay, so they got two Intersphere standards. Not worried about those guys. Let's just get on this guy right now. Alright, at least the tag's on. He's going to sit still. Okay, we got a spider. I want to know what that thing with the large laser was, though. Light tank. Man, they got us between a rock and a hard place. We're going to go down here. Black Blizzard. I have no idea what the hell that is. Saladin. Ballistic. That thing's got to go now. Flea. I have no idea. So hopefully it was the light tank that took a shot at us. Okay, a ripper. Yeah, we got to move down this way. How hard could it really be? Hopefully those are just sensors. Something tells me they're not though. MML carrier. So Saladin's have got garbage armor. He's got already half of it gone off the front of him. I hear ya. Thunder! Of course it's thunder. Okay, um... That's all indirect. Let's get over here. I want to try to knock out this Urban Knight. He didn't move, so he's kind of giving himself to us. So let's take it. Let's take it. I'm going to hang on to those. We're going to need them. Firing. Right, Commander. Okay, at least the laser hit. I have to watch my ammo load out on the uh, Talos now too, with the Ultra. I think we just put it onto one for now. Oh man, this is going to be a bad fight. I wonder if that thing had the large laser. It's highly probable it was that. For orders. Can I get a side shot on him? I cannot. Under augmented times ten. Not bad on the mantis. Even better on this guy though. He's he's really just giving himself to us. So I think we take it. Gonna have to accept that damage. Not much I can do about it. Not a lot. Uh, we are gonna go double on him though. Um, switch to SRM or keep the LRMs on. Let's go with the better chance to hit, I think. I think we're going to need to save those SRMs for later on. Uh, I missed. Mark II is jammed. Beautiful. Right. Okay, I'm glad I went with the double shot in that. Target's taking a critical hit. What do you need? Fuck, we're in a bad spot. I can't just drive through here. So I think we have to engage back this way. Okay. Now it's shift, right? 
to there, to there. Turn our front this way, like that. All right, that's pretty good in the spider. Not too bad on that guy either, though. How much armor does this mantis have? A hundred. So it's a fair bit. So let's put some rounds in this spider's face. Okay, I'm on it. Maybe we can get him to back off. If we can get these guys to stay out of the fight for a bit. Well, we pulled down the guys up here. That would probably be best, I think. I think the Cephalus should beat the Urban Knight the next turn, but we're going to have to back up because these guys are too close. Receiving you. All right, you need to push through because you have no other choice. So... That's eight. That's six. Here. Here. There. There. And we're going to turn to the side. On my way. So we can't get the enemy behind us to have a back shot at us. And we're going to hammer this guy. Full compliment on enemy. Target's taking a critical hit. Well, at least his ECM's down. Yes, Commander. All right, you cannot be there. We do not have fire and maneuver, which is bad. So we can back up to here, though. Not the best chance to hit, but we're going to back it up. Moving out. So we can't be there. That standard will do some do a number on us if we're not that uh, careful. Take a shot at this guy. For an alpha strike. Okay, not bad. Do we go again? We do. We we all everyone goes before him. Beautiful. Yeah, that standard was like right on us. Just gotta stay away from it now. Waiting on you, Commander. They're not that scary, they're just like a pain in the ass. Jump up here. And let's draw first blood if we can. Uh yep. Uh-huh. That should do it. Yep. Nice. And stay down. Hopefully that was the commander. Okay, a bunch of micro lasers in that guy. Waiting for orders. Okay, let's get right. to here. Not bad. Drop this to one. I'm gonna run out of SRMs real fast. Gotta get on them though. Yeah, you better be panicked. How well do we do? Okay, we blew open his side. So we're going to bring the Zoria around to here and take a shot at him. This guy's going to back up back here. I think that was a mortar. From the flea. At least I hope it's that. That's what it was and not a minefield. Oh man. Okay. I think if we can handle these guys here first, we'll be fine. So they are five per lance, so it's they they have a two to one odds against us. Ah, screw you. Now he should have taken leg damage coming through those mines, I think, shouldn't he have? I have no way to know. Yep. 
Because of course I don't. That was a lot of fucking damage. So that's the back left. Got it. No shooting. Gotta get Just out of here. I can't stay here. Slug is going to be the same. That's less chance to hit. What's the chance on this guy? Less. So, let's see if we can get the spider. Alright, couple points. We're going to lose the Zoria there. Damn it. Ah, man. This was supposed to be a cake run. Why is it I never get good cake runs? You've got nothing. You hear me? Don't tempt fate. We're down the Aries, which was like a big deal. And here you are That's tempting hot. fate. Let's move. Get over here. See if we can knock this guy out of the battle. Firing. Nice. Okay, two turns, two units. Report in one left Seven vehicle. versus five. Now this guy's going to make a break for it next turn. we got to go through trees, which means we're not going to get very far. We'll probably get to here. But we can turn the other side, fire back. Maybe we can fire on the Saladin. So they go first, eh? Who's up? Oh, these guys. At least they shot for the right guy. I hear you. Okay, who do we want? The Ripper we can take down with probably the Cephalus. Commander. So let's do that first to confirm it. Right? Because it's got like garbage armor. All we have to do is hit with one of these lasers. Firing a full salvo. Unless, of course, we hit the front. Then it doesn't matter. <sighs> what can I do for you? You can pick up where. What's her name left off? What you can do. No need to tell me twice. Get over here. Get our stability back. Drop this. Put that up. Special delivery. Man, we had to waste that shot. Bye bye. Okay. Seven wait, yeah, now it's seven versus uh five. Although I don't really count these standards, they can do a lot of damage if they get close, so yep. we gotta be concerned. Now let's move. Can I engage this spider? I can. So let's do that. We're gonna save our Azoria here by engaging this spider here. Hopefully we can force him to run. Now, um, oh, it's a little better with the LRMs, good. We're gonna fire on him. We missed with the AC. Damn it. Is that a knockdown? Yep. Cool. Sorry, I can focus them next turn then. Or this turn, I mean. Nice. Good play. These guys are still a little out of range. Don't know if those are mines or mortars. I couldn't see if that was the flea. What do you need? Confirmed. Going back here. Find out in a second here. No, nope, we didn't take any damage. That must have been a mortar. Okay, see if we can get this guy to panic. Just try and take his leg. Aye, aye. How'd that taste? 
foot destroyed, but did it actually hit... Oh, he's dead. Never mind. <laughs> I was going to say, actually, did it hit the right foot or did it hit the other foot? All right, so he's down. Yeah, you run. You run, you cheeky bugger. Okay, system... Or system. The situation is slowly solidifying in our favor. I want them to move forward. I can target this thing. Yeah, Commander. All right, well, they're backing up, so let's turn around and focus on the uh, on my way. standard here. At least they don't have the uh, hard gel. The cheat armor. I'm going to continuously call it cheat armor, so get used to it. I understand it filling holes and stuff, but it shouldn't work like replacing the armor. It should be like... Like not allowing vacuum in when you're in in um, lunar environments or you know I don't know something along that line. Okay, target these guys. Uh, yeah, we'll leave the beacon on. Why not? Nice. Narked, baby, and tagged. Narked and tagged for extermination. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so you can Waiting work on, you, on the same guy. We'll turn more this way, though. Right, Commander. Since we dropped our heat, we can afford to put it all back on. Like this. And we'll put some sensors on this guy as well. And hopefully we get a good shot. Roger that. Firing on Just with the lasers. Sensors are on him. A little bit of damage. Okay, whatever. I don't know if I can get in there with the Talos. Commander. I have to go through the minefield. It's only a couple of mines though, but still I don't get a direct line of sight on them. Nothing I can do about that either. But what I can do... is... can we move... Let's go this, this, and this. Got it. We're going to come around and be some fire support for the other Zoria. So we can turn our attention on these guys now. Where's that Saladin? Here it is. LRMs are up, firing. I come. Okay, so this guy's got an AC-20 Federated. Now if we can grab that, that would be a good play on the Hunchback. Put the AC-20 on it with some ammo. If the Goss, our light Goss rifle fits, we'll stick it on there. Yep. And then, um... That might be a half-decent play for that Hunchback. We can't get any lasers or anything on it, but whatever. Oh man, I don't like this at all. I'm gonna move like that. Roger. Stay on this guy. All right, that's actually pretty good chances to hit. Targeting for an alpha. For a whole eight points damage, but whatever. At least he's unsettled. All right, six against five. Man, they had really good positioning at the beginning too. These, are, if these weren't standards, if these were like mechs, might be a different story. Yeah, it's a mortar. Oh, MML. Maybe he's got... Uh, ooh, what's this guy up to? You sneaky bugger. There's a large laser back there somewhere. I gotta be careful. Um. Um is not a word. Oh, that's not bad. Take that. Moving to position. We'll take that. Keep applying the damage. Roger. Okay, we penetrated somewhere. Probably the leg. Find out here in a second. Here comes that Saladin. Yeah, leg. Who's up? Order. TF. She had jump jets, but you don't. Can you get... Sneaky motherfucker. 
I'm probably too close. I probably should have been back here because then now the Talos risks hitting the Cephalus. If I have to fire at this guy with the Talos. Which apparently I do. Man, that AC-20 will wreck that thing. Where are you going? You're engaging. Nice. Wow, that was bad. At least he's not standing on top of you, ripping your armor off. Okay. Good to go. All right, Griff, back it up. Like so. Coordinates received. Apply some more damage. We're going to fire it all. All right, just missile hits. More sensors. Critical hit, Commander. Yeah, baby. Yeah, it's the mortar flea, I think. Oh, maybe not. Mortars. Maybe not. Hmm. I guess this is the only place I can go. Hopefully the Saladin will see me and be like, Oh, I want to shoot that guy instead. He didn't move very far. I can double shoot this, though. Uh, yep. Nope, it's... Hopefully it's enough to distract him. Yeah. Watch out for that other guy. Watch out, it's that one guy. Let's move Probably over here. Yeah, <laughs> Scott Pilgrim's first fight's so brilliant. Watch out, it's that one guy. Targeting systems janky. I love that comment, the watch out, it's that one guy. Because it's like... Not only does it 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 um, <laughs> raise awareness that there's somebody there, but it just completely implies that it's like, oh, you you only brought one guy. <laughs> Good to go. Watch out! It's that one guy. <laughs> Coordinates received. You gotta be careful because there's one of them. Locking on. I love that one in in, in, me, in the uh, mech terms of things as a as a uh, behemoth with a uh, heavy Gauss rifle. Of course, then that then you should you know perk up and take notice. But you know, watch out! It's that one flea. Come on. Yeah, you run. I'm gonna chase him down. I'm glad that guy's not shooting. Because even a lucky hit would be disastrous. Where the hell is this other standard? Yeah, backing up just a little bit away from those standards puts them at extreme range and just makes it harder for them to hit. Like, so much harder. Commander? Yikes, that one hit hard. Did it? Did it really? Is that what you call hard? Is that what you call hard? Okay, um... Let's go this route. Roger that. It's taking forever. I hate these things. I wish I could just get them out of the game. Critical hit, Commander. Commander. Fuck this Good guy. Chase him down. Kill him. Kill him. It'll be nice when we have the wasp too, because then they can both go after mechs or vehicles that are really fast and just chase them down and kill them. Wow. Well, at least an arc's on. You should be worried. Now, I don't know how far through this minefield this Talos can go, but I'm probably going to try and do it. We'll see here in a second. I got to get up this ramp, I think. I mean, I guess I could go up this way. It's just going to take too much longer. Yeah, back up. Commander. Although I guess we can kind of go... Uh, Commander? I guess we can kind of go the other way. Taking the shot. Oh, nice. 
Nice hit on that one. Nice good. hit. Good to go. How many mines is this? 14. 14 chances, right? 18. It's not, it's not that many, so we're going to go through. How many explosions have we got? 15. Well, that's a fair bit of damage. Fair bit. Alright, do we shoot at the, at the um, our ultras down, which is probably fine. 6.9. And I have no idea. 10. 17 on the Chevalier. So I guess Chevalier it is. Chevalier? Oui. Nice. What do you need? Uh, can you shoot that uh, battle armor? Apparently you can't. Can you get to a position where you can target somebody down there? Can't really. We can get into here. All right, full speed. Be a little closer for next turn. I think we hit the same guy. Probably, yeah, fine. Aye, aye. That's Engaging fine. Target. I'm interested to see what ammo that thing's Negative carrying. Damage. With the MMLs, maybe we can get some half decent uh, specialty ammo. I doubt it, but you never know. Like somebody had to lay the minefield here, so someone's got fast cam, or it could have been a mine layer. But I don't think so. I think it was missiles. Yeah. Friends, friends, help me! <laughs> Ooh, that doesn't sound good. I thought somebody back here had like a laser, a chem laser or something. What if those are rocket packs? That's a fair bit of armor. Well, not really. Yeah, not really. I want to chase this guy down, probably. <laughs> Let's just keep on him. There's no point to not keep on him. Yeah, looking forward to having a second mech that can follow this guy around. All right, there we go. One more for the scrap. Now we're 50-50. We gotta find that other standard. I have no idea where the hell it went to. Hope it's not stuck here. Oh, there it is. Is that the same one, or is that the one that's up on the on the uh, top here? I don't see it. So it must have been these guys. Oh, they jumped down. That's what happened. Okay. Waiting for orders. Ah, that makes sense. You know what? Um, I don't know. You know what? I don't know. Alright, so that's the other side he's presenting to us, the non-damage side. No, nope, that's the that's the leg damage side. Let's walk up here. On my way. Let's see if we can get this guy this turn. Get him out of here. Throw that on. Uh, we might as well drop the rockets on him now too. Let's see if we can get at least claim the leg, maybe. Oh, there's the leg of them. It's a big one. Critical hit. All out of SRMs, Commander. And there's the knockdown. Cool. Standing by. All right, let's engage these fuckers now. Um. Yep. I'm just gonna walk it up. Give best chance to hit. Yeah, I know I'm hitting mines. Leave me alone. Oop, this guy's the best. Yeah, we'll go Ultra on it. Why not? Firing. Ooh, they both hit too. Nice. Yeah, I'm interested to know what he's got. Where the fuck is that standard? Orders? Orders? I don't quite get it. 
There we go. Moving out. Move the hologram down here. Take a shot at this guy. Other torso. I hope we can salvage that. I don't really care. I hope we don't get any of that salvage. Okay, roundup's going on eleven. Gonna come over here and uh, well, we're gonna go. Up, we have to go up a ramp to get to these guys. So I don't know. Maybe we send her out after that other uh, battle armor to see if I can find out where it is. I don't want to take a chance of losing that uh, Azoria. That guy's running. Yeah, chicken shit. Yep. I don't blame you though. I don't blame you. That was one of the mechanics I did ask for a long time ago. Like if they're taking heavy punishment that they sh they should they should be running. But I, I think they should have a way to get off the map board. Yes, Commander. So I mean we can retreat and bail out, but they have no ability to do that. But they should have. Right? They should have the ability to just say, okay, we've taken too many losses. You know, and then maybe it's the same extraction. Enemy chooses to disengage, leaving in X number of turns, you know, and then have them, um, ooh, we hit with the laser, and then just have them at X number of turns, that's the end of the mash, and they, and they extract, right? That would be kind of a cool dynamic. I understand why they don't do it, because, I mean, technically it's, you know, you should be fighting the battles to the end, and well, yabba yabba yabba, whatever. I get that. Commander? Alright, let's go hunt down the standard. Can we get across? We can get across. And turn this way though. Time to fly. We'll take a shot at that chevalier. Why? Le chevalier? Nothing. Ooh. You may need some more time in the simulator. Yeah, I think that guy's stuck. Yeah, you run. You run. Just keep running. You're not going to get away from me. The Saladin didn't. You're just... Delaying the inevitable. But you don't have a choice. I don't blame you. I blame the game designers. <laughs> Uh, okay. I'm showing minor damage. Can we get? We can. How many rounds have we got left? Seven. Style it back for consistent, consistent firing. Take a shot at this guy. How much armor do you have? Fair bit. Pretty chunky. All right, let's go see if we can find the uh, standard back here somewhere. Still not coming up on sensors. Take a shot at the Chevalier, though. Well, it won't matter. What about the other guy? It's the same, huh? Acknowledge. All right. I missed. I can't believe you missed. You had such a great chance to hit, too. To bring you up this way. We'll leave the Griffin and the other Zoria on the uh, standard. We'll come up over this way. See if we can help out and finish these guys off a little quicker here. 16%. We're taking it. Confirmed. Nothing. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Order. That's all right. Run, run. I like it when you run. Coming around here, gonna give it to you in the bun. Here it comes. Ah, man, he's got such a good defense here. Oh, we hit with both lasers. Why, why don't I even open my mouth? <laughs> you know, open my mouth, good things happen. Open my mouth, bad things happen. Doesn't really matter. Uh, let's stay away from that uh, transformer. Gonna walk it up. Hopefully hit this guy here. Oh, yeah, should be no problem. 
Should I go with the rockets? I don't think we're quite ready yet to kill him. Single shot though, because it's going to take a few more turns to kill this guy. Okay, that hit. Nice. Maybe we can get him to bail. Okay. I can see you feeling some kind of way about that. Alright, let's see if we can see this guy down here. Here we go. There he is. Uh, we're gonna brace this turn and get our uh, stamina or our stability back. So I've been playing Alpha 20, uh, Seven Days to Die. For those people who are watching me play that, oh, that guy's got an ER. Damn. I've been doing it offline. I haven't recorded anything for uh, yep. for um, online. Heading out. It's just uh, it's still in alpha or still in uh, uh, beta, so or not beta. It's still uh, sorry experimental. So it's like they're still working on it, tweaking some things. It's okay. They balanced it really well. Um, some people have claimed it's more difficult. Some people have said it's easier. I don't think it's easier or more difficult. I think the gameplay is pretty much the same. I think everything that people complain about are all situational things. So not being able to find enough food, you know, yeah, Commander. how tough it is early on, how tough the enemies are, all that kind of BS stuff. It's like, eh. I don't find the enemies any tougher. They hit a little bit harder, but, you know, with the new weapons that you have for early game, it's like you can stay away from them easy enough and not have to worry about them. and. I don't find it that difficult. Like, I'm almost on my second horde night and I barely have any gear. Not because I, I couldn't, I didn't have the opportunity to get it, but because I just didn't feel I needed it, you know? Still rocking the padded armor. You know, some pipe weapons. It's like, eh. There's no real, like, and I'm playing on, like, the second to hard, well, third to hardest difficulty. Warrior difficulty, two above the normal. So it's, I mean, it's not like I'm taking it easy on myself. But I like how they've made the zombies ra more random, so they're, they don't all have the same hit points. They don't all uh, move the same speeds. So, you know, it's, it's kind of good in that respect. Um, how do I want to engage these guys down here? Time to fly. Uh, I want to be able to see them to be able to engage them. It's interesting. Oh, there you are. Plasma residue. Minor damage, Commander. What do you need? All right, let's get around here. Yeah, that side. Understood. I've got to keep thinking about what side I'm turning to the enemy. <laughs> Pretty sure it's this side. Alright, getting better. At least we can see them now. Still doing no damage, but at least we can see them. Yeah, it's been a really long time that I've seen a mech do a death from above attack. I still remember in the basic battle tech fighting one battle and having a Wolverine. Was it the basic battle tech? Orders? Might have been an early version of Rogue Tech, but I got jumped on by a uh, a Wolverine and it just murdered my mech in one shot. Heading out. I think it was the basic game. Just a brutal attack. Okay, we should be able to punch through that. I think. Maybe. Not enough to kill. Inflicted some heavy damage. But we'll get that guy in a second here. Yes, Commander. Here we go. Coordinates received. Here we go. Finish him up. Dropping the SRMs for extra damage. There we go. Nice. Then there was three. That one's gone. Then there was three. 
I can send another Zoria back. I don't think it'll get back in time to finish off that standard, but might. That guy's still running. He'll be the last guy in the map board. We'll be chasing him down for the whole friggin' match. Yes, Commander. Did you kill that guy already? I love how he's just trying to get away. Like, I don't know if I don't. I got to see here in a second here if he's got any actual weapons on him left. But at that point, they should just bail out. He's got an SRM4. All right, we're hitting. Looks like we penetrated somewhere. Don't know, maybe we did, maybe we didn't. Looks like we did. Internal structure's damaged. There's a whole lot of nope. Oh, we got the side on him. Oh yeah, hopefully we can finish him up next turn. Good to go. Got it. Okay. Um gonna drop some sensors, fire everything. Tell me what to shoot. Man, if we're gonna be like hitting him for four damage till this guy dies, it's gonna be so painful. That's why I want these things removed. Cause they don't really I mean, unless they somehow you make a mistake and they close with your mech and they rip it apart, they don't really pose that much of a threat. Like, I am taking damage from them, but it's like, it's more a pain in the ass to chase yeah. them down than anything, you know? Don't need to move on this guy. Double this up. Let's put the rockets on now. See if we can get a kill on them. Yep. There we go. That's a kill. And that's a kill. Alright, round up. What's the best way back? Oh, you're, down, you're over here. We're over here. Okay. Turn that Roger. way. Ooh, freely. Hang on. Here we go. Oh shit. Didn't think you destroyed the building on me. Holy shit, 40 damage per leg. You see Wait that? I gotta get you back over here. So it's a half skull match. It should have taken like a couple of minutes. It's taken like an entire episode. I was hoping to maybe like drop in on another one, but apparently not. Alright, we want the side attack on this guy because that's where he's damaged. And hope we get lucky. He didn't move very far this time, so this should be a finishing blow, hopefully, if we hit with one. Nice. All right, just the one guy left. Enemy vehicle destroyed. You might get back before the end of this battle. I mean, you only like three or four turns away. And he vanished. Because, of course, he vanished. Commander? I don't know if you guys can hear my stomach going off here. Like... Here we go. Nothing, huh? Well, I can drop my heat then, I guess. What do you need? Full speed it is. Let's move. Oh, we can see him. Another reason why you want to have that sensor in sight range, just so that you can actually see your enemy at a good distance. Okay, his leg's badly damaged. That's a good thing. Yeah. Can we get up this ramp? We can. Okay. Copy that. Hopefully we can get some height and get some direct sight on him. That's yeah, weird that's not a direct line of sight from here. But I guess these bollards are in the way. I have the advantage. Nothing. Oh crap. Missed. Good to go. Let's go. Get back here. Going full throttle. Pot shot. This is the last guy. Let's get him done and get out of here, because. Christ is taking too long. Target acquired. Damn it. See, when they're severely outgunned like this, they should just yes, surrender. But, I mean, it is Word of Blake, so... Probably not going to surrender. Let's move to there. Attempt to take a shot on this turn. Might as well. 
Well, we can see them. Switch back to LRMs. 17%. Now we'll leave that off. So we can get in and get a half decent chance to hit them. Nice. Could be worse. Waiting for order. We're going after somebody important. Right, Commander. I mean, all my guys are important, but I mean, like, could have gone after more important target. All right, uh, let's use the sensors. The last of them. Ooh, nice! The laser hit. Finally. Excellent. All out of short-range missiles, Commander. Keep them in those sensors. Yep. Keep them in the sensors. I'll do what I can. All right, firing. Firing. I don't think it really gives you a better chance to hit. I think it just makes them a bit more visible, which ends up being a better chance to hit. Ooh, that's not bad. We'll take that. Back shot. Let's make them panic. We're five in the five hole. Confirmed. Yeah, I don't know where that cluster went. No idea where that cluster ended up. Oh, you might actually get back. Yeah, man. Getting back for the end of the fight. Hopefully we can get the uh, narc on this guy. Or I guess we're not going to be getting the narc on it because we don't have any ammo. But maybe the tag. Alright, where are you going? He's only jumping in the sensor, so... Like, it's really a waste. Three damage, three damage, three damage. Commander? Move over here. Moving to position. Turn off the large, leave everything else on. Firing. Got it. Just a waste of time is all it is. Yep. I thought at one point in time they had the uh, the thing to turn on and off battle armor. I'm pretty sure that's out of the uh, that choice is out now. I think battle armor is just in the game. Because I don't remember seeing it when I was installing Battletech multiple times, or Rogue Tech multiple times. Uh, it didn't give me the option, I think, to remove the uh, yeah. battle armor. Or maybe it did and I just didn't, uh, it just, I didn't put two and two together. Which is possible because it's me. Really? Right. On rear armor. Uh, Commander? I'll often times two and two comes up five. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know if I mentioned this previously, but uh, there's somebody mentioned it. Uh, oh, it's as clear as 2 plus 2 equals 4. And I'm like, yeah, but that's not clear. Because 2 plus 2 doesn't always equal 4. And I'm like, what are you talking about doesn't always equal 4? And I'm like, well, depends on what the 2s represent. Right? Because 2 degree water added to 2 degree water is still 2 degree water. Right? 2 plus 2 equals 2. So it just depends completely on what it is you're measuring, right? So it's just all relative. And 2 plus 2 can equal 5, and 1 can equal 0, right? Like, it just does, it just depends on what it is you're measuring and what the equation is, right? Ah, Fuck's it. sake, I knew it, I angled wrong. I knew I angled wrong, and I'm like, Fuck, I hope that guy doesn't go for me. Sure enough. We're just so sorely out of position now, too. I got 80 rounds. Keep shooting. Engage. Just so annoying. If we lose the Zoria because of that, I, that's... I mean, that's my fault. That's nobody's fault but mine. I can't be mad at anybody or any, any game mechanic because of my fault. And I knew it, too. Like, I looked at it, and right, I'm like... Commander. That's just angled wrong. I shouldn't do that. I shouldn't do that. But I did it anyway because I didn't think he would move out and shoot him. Critical hit, Commander. But All out of LRMs, what Commander. do you do? What do you do? When you live in a shoe. Just run it. You move to a boot and get laced. Take a shot. Engaging with target. Sorry for the painfulness here, guys. Get through it. Getting through it. I'm not going to close this guy. 
Not going to close with them. Locking on. We are going to shoot them hard, though. Scored a critical hit. Good to go. I hope he doesn't bail out. I hope you don't bail out. Firing on target. I want you to explode and die. Systems recycling for another shot. Good to go. You're not getting over there in time, so let's just learn from here. Five points and he's panicking. Standing by. Alright, your partner went down. Crap, you can't get in there, eh? I'd like to prefer a side shot rather than a back shot here. Alright, well, no big deal. Firing. Next turn it is, I guess. Yeah, you're gonna get yours. Question is, who's gonna give it to you? Yes, Commander. Looks like it's gonna be. Looks like it's gonna be Taser Face. Copy that. Here it comes. Engaging. Oh, maybe not. That's going to hurt. Ready for orders. Maybe not. I was going to say last of our LRMs, but it's not. We still got a few left. Nothing. Negative damage. I repeat, negative damage. Huh. That guy reminds me so much of my brother when he's later in life. The negative damage. I repeat, negative damage. His voice is so labored. Minimal damage, Commander. My brother was the same way. It's Commander? like he had a hard time speaking like, like later in life. So it was like he had this kind of gruffness to him that always sounded like he was angry. But he wasn't. He just had a hard time speaking. <laughs> I need you to do this for me. Like, yeah, sure, man. Ah, shit. Fuck it, let's overheat. Affirmative. Damn it! <laughs> I was really hoping that was going to be the kill shot. Ooh. Uh, getting pretty hot in here, Commander. Make yeah. Hopefully, we can finish this up right now. Really? Well, we're taking it. Position confirmed. Just fuck this guy. He's just not gonna go down. Everything I got. There's the leg. Hit, Commander. Come on, bail out. Damn it. Alright, fine. Commander. There we go. Good to go. There we go. There's something in the way here I can't target him with, but whatever. Core him, please. Thank you. Fuck you. Tango down. Mission successful. So I'm putting that on par with that base defense mission, man. Th this was like a half skull. It should have been easy, but like Zoria went down. So the engine didn't just get destroyed. So I guess maybe when the core gets destroyed, the, the vehicle's destroyed. So maybe it's okay. I guess we'll find out in a moment. But maybe that, that could be it. As long as the core doesn't get wrecked, maybe the vehicle's still alive? Find out. 27 days she's out for it. Man, really? Alright, let's find out what we got here. Mantis part. We don't have anything that we can double up. Although there is a full spider, although we can't take it. Although there's the AC-20. So, better chance to crit. Better through armor crit chance. Recoil of one only, though. That's not bad. Although it does have a jam chance. I see. 15% mitigated by gunnery. ER large. There's another MML5. I mean, we could replace the SRM6 with the MML5. I'm going to throw that in there for now, because I think that's that could be a good way to go. I want to check. Uh, why is there four of these? Man, we just had one. ECM, compact heat sink, 240 core. We've already got a 240. 
Guardian ECM again. Ton of heat sinks. Hopefully we get those. Heavy ferro might be a possibility. Let's drop it in there. Piloting support A and B. Patchwork materials is kind of nice. We can go on one of our lighter mechs, like maybe the Cephalus or something. Um, so, Swarm Incendiary, half load. Thunder Augmented, half. Those are possibilities. AC-20 save, 3. 12 rounds. The question is, is am I going to put that hunch dip back together and use it? The two ballistic hard points are severely limiting unless you've got like a pair of ultras. Like ultra 5s or ultra 2s or something that you could drop in there that would be half decent ranged firepower. So you don't have to close with your enemy. But even then, it's like 50 tons of wasted space, right? Um, if I go this route, Swarm Incendiary and Swarm Augmented... No, because I mean, I still have to replace one of the uh, tons of safe ammo. And I'm going to be burning through those the ammo real quick in these uh, launchers. But they're all sh with all of them sharing the same ammo. Hmm. And I've done plenty of thunder builds in the past, right? So let's leave that off. Sentinel sensors are actually really good. So maybe we grab us three tons though. I was thinking about this for the. Um, for the wasp, but I think it's going to add weight. It's going to be an issue. Let's grab the patchwork. And then let's grab melee accuracy and initiative. Hmm. Small magna lasers. Laser AMS, one and a half tons. What are we going to put that on? ER medium bright bloom. Increased range, but damage fall off. Magna laser. Well, it's the it's a small. Well, it's a medium laser magna. But why is it? What am I looking at? Why did I think it was only a half a ton? Hmm. Increased damage, increased heat. Still not bad. There's really nothing up here I want. Especially since it's we need to it's gonna take five parts to put anything together. I'm gonna we're just wanna focus on things that I really want to keep. And then whatever else we get, we get. So um I don't know. I mean, I guess the Sentinel sensors can go on something else later on. Or maybe we take the second Heavy Pharaoh. We can put that on something for later on. Or maybe I can drop that into the... Uh, the Talos. Yeah, let's confirm this. Alright, we got two of those which we can ditch. We lost the Zoria. Oh my god, I'm like losing all of my inheritance here. <laughs> it's like... Oh, crap, man. We're dropping. Rocket 10. Okay, fine. Armor. I'm going to hold on to that. I'll sell some of that later. Standard fire control systems we'll keep. Uh, we don't need to keep that. I mean, we keep the heat sink, yes. Jump jets we got lots of, so we can ditch those. Basic sensors we're going to hang on to. And basic structure can go. God damn it. That was me not angling, too. Just no angling. So I don't blame them for shooting them. So it has nothing to do with whether it gets cored or not. It just, if it gets destroyed. Like if they bail out. Oh well. 
Well, there we go. <sighs> well, we know how it goes in the world of Battletech. You win some, you lose some. Sometimes you lose a few in a row. <laughs> we had a couple of bad situations, though, like, like the last episode, getting dropped on by that uh, quick draw, right, like right in the middle of the fight, like dropping right on top of us. And then in this one, having those guys spawn behind us, I, I didn't even think for a half-skull mission we would get a second lance, but there you go. Um, not much we can do about it. So now I'm going to have to figure out what I'm going to do. At least our financial report is slowly dropping. <laughs> not, that that's it. not that that's a good thing or anything, but it is what's happening. Um, so I think we're going to figure out... We're probably going to have to jump. We got like... <laughs> what are we going to do? I had to go th through our stuff that we got in storage and sell a bunch of stuff, I think. Um, I know there's a few things we can sell. But uh, we're going to have to jump and get stuff fixed and then just like take lower end missions to get C-bills to be able to make financial reports. So um, I'm going to figure this out um, off camera, what we're going to need to do, because we're going to jump out of here and uh, head off. Maybe I shouldn't have bought this, but no big deal. Um, roundup's out, but that's okay. She doesn't have a vehicle to pilot anyway at the moment. Uh, we'll get the mechs fixed. Probably going to head off to um, one of those half-skull worlds. Not back to the one we were at, but I think there's one closer. Uh, we'll have a look um, between episodes, and I'll just jump there between episodes and get everything fixed before we start the next one. Figure out our situation, sell some stuff. Ah, well, you win some, you use some. All right, guys, I'm going to end the episode here. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscri subscribed, please feel free to subscribe, and you can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.